Hello, my name is Randy Hart. I'm one of the construction accountants here at Fast Easy Accounting and Business Consulting Accounting in Lowen, Washington. And today's video is going to be a little recap of two different softwares for contractors in the construction industry. One of the things we like to talk about is that uh, accounting itself doesn't have a lot of value. The value is in the reports that you get that help you make decisions on where to go. So we use a, a situation that we call the five and five for five. There are five reports if you look at at 5 p.m. for five minutes on a regular basis, it'll really help your business. And those five reports are, number one is cash. So on QuickBooks, you press that little button there, it's gonna give you this cash available report. Number two is cash coming in, cash receivable. That's the AR button. Number three is cash going out, the AP summary or AP button. And the fourth is the balance sheet, or the number four, you press that button, it'll give you the balance sheet. Number five is the profit and loss, or P&L, press that button, and the P&L shows up. Now these buttons are not automatically in QuickBooks, you have to set them up. The key is, if you have all these little reports, it takes you about five minutes, and you get all your information about your business you need to operate and grow it very profitably. So for example, this business, we can see they have a good cash position, their accounts receivable are keeping track and not letting a lot of people get too far out. And the same with their accounts payable. Balance sheet looks pretty good. They have 100,000 in capital stock. They have retained earnings. Their total equity is about oh, just over half a million dollars. It's just a fake company for demonstration purposes. And we can see about our income here, year to date, about 162,000. So it's not a bad little operation. Now I contrast that with this company here, which is also a construction company. This company is being run in zero accounting online. And the reason is because this little company does not need job costing, pay applications, work in process, schedule of values, and that type of thing. So if your construction company is, is geared toward either small transactions that you do in, in a few hours or a few days, or you don't need job costing, you don't need work in process, you don't have schedule values, all those complex things, that, in my opinion, zero is best for you. Again, job costing, QuickBooks, can't be beat. No job costing, zero. Now, both of these softwares are actually running on the web. So I'm here in my office in Linwood, but this actual software right here, this desktop QuickBooks is on a web-based server in Southern California. So it's very efficient and runs very quickly. So you can kind of see if you're already going to banking and write checks and so forth. This is a live file and it runs very quick. Now this zero is strictly web-based, built from the ground up. And like I said, the big difference is it doesn't have job costing. The benefit I like about zero for the smaller contractor or the smaller tickets, and it can be, you can do a million dollars a year or more on this. The key is job costing. Now here's what goes on. With zero, you have your statement of balance, my last time is reconciled, this is what it was, and you have your balance in zero as of today. So today is September the 11th, 2013, and it says the balance is zero, 7,500. How it gets to that is, it does what's called a bank feed, so it downloads all the transactions from the bank every night. And then we go in and reconcile and make sure they're, they're all matched up nicely. So these numbers are always accurate, every day. So let's say that you're a plumbing contractor and you're out doing a, a repair or a, a drain cleaning for a client and you use your smartphone or your tablet and you issue an invoice right there on the spot and you send it to the customer. What will happen is it will show up here as money coming in. It takes about three seconds, give or take, between you hit the button in the field and it shows up here for us and any place else you're gonna log into it. So we can tell here, again, this is very similar to the uh, QuickBooks, the money coming in, it looks like this person has $1,100 in draft invoices and another 1,000 overdue. So I'd wanna get on top of those overdues and see what's going on. The money going out, very similar. Um, there's $2,500 $2, that needs to be paid out and these are the dates that they're making payment. And this little, it's kind of a neat little tool because you can take this and kind of summarize how things are looking in the future. For construction business, cash is king. You need to know three things. 
money on hand, which is here, money coming in, and money going out. That's the three monies you need. So that's how I get them here in zero. In QuickBooks, it's money on hand, money coming in, money going out. Like I said, the big difference is job costing. You need that QuickBooks. And you want to think of QuickBooks as being that huge 18-wheeler um, type truck, semi-truck with two trailers, and it's pulling 40,000 pounds going down the road. That's QuickBooks. We love QuickBooks because there's lots of reports. If your business does not require massive reporting, then I really like zero. Zero, I'd like you to think of zero as a really fast red sports car or an SUV. It's quick, it's nimble, and you get a lot of information right now. One of the problems we've had in the past is a lot of times our clients have called up and says, how much money do I have in the bank? And I say, we don't know. You've got to go to the bank to figure it out. Okay, and there's all kinds of things. You know, what's clear, what's uncleared? Well, here in QuickBooks, that's kind of where it is. This is only accurate to the point that you've given us data. This is accurate every day that we get a bank download. So, again, this is Randall DeHart, Business Consultant Accounting, Fast Easy Accounting, and look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Bye for now.